What's up and what's good YouTube? Hope all is well and welcome back to the channel. As you probably already know, I'm Hoppa and today I've got a question for you guys. Could the reason the video game devs involved on the anti-cheat side of things, could the reason that they don't talk to us about their method for catching cheaters be because they're full of crap? Like how recently when an Apex Legends player added to head of security over at Respawn over on Twitter, tagging Connor Ford, alerting him that a TikToker with tons of content using cheats while playing Apex Legends was live streaming cheats right then and there. Dynamite on YouTube goes just loopy 296 has been blatantly cheating for over a month with hundreds of viewers and has gained over 60,000 followers. Gremlins is the TikTok name at Respawn Hideouts. Can we get a ban? And when Connor Ford in his usual condescending tone replied with, this account was banned week ago. It's a replay of recorded content. He got absolutely decimated in the comments before i get into this video guys i think it's uh i think i need to let you know that if my apex account ever gets banned let it be known much like the cheater involved in this uh tweet here i too know how to use a hardware id spoofer and if i need to create endless accounts because we all know how respawn and connor ford love to ban people who hurt their feelings or you know flat out embarrass them in public and you guys know how you know game studios love to boast about their little insignificant things related you know to the security of their game i.e raven software every time they banned 50,000 accounts that ended up probably being less than 500 active cheaters with just a shitload of accounts well what if that thing that they were boasting about just wasn't true at all what if the tinfoil hat wearing motherfuckers like myself are right and they could care no less about cheaters relying on easy anti-cheat to do all the banning through its automated methods unless you know you're like a large streamer and you're part of hideouts and you're hiding in their stream set up for them then, 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 then you might actually care. But I think they call that clout chasing. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I mean, it seems like they only exist to police the larger streamers lobbies they so desperately want to be a part of. I mean, the amount of times I've seen or heard a big streamer referencing hideouts during the stream when facing a cheater in Apex Legends. I mean, that would all lead me to believe that there's a dedicated team of individuals that police Apex streamer lobbies. But unfortunately, that's only partially true. I mean, it's true if you happen to have a significant sized audience and aren't a prick like myself and if asked, would gobble at the balls of respawn. Then you can get your own hideouts police in your stream. I mean, they'll literally jump in your stream and ban a cheater. And from what I've been hearing sometimes, it's not a cheater at all. In fact, sometimes the person that got banned wasn't cheating, but was banned without a proper investigation in an attempt to somehow gain some sort of brownie points from the streamer and their audience that happened to be convinced that the person was cheating and maybe secretly deep down inside self-promoting to some extent. Oh, that's right. Mr. Connor Ford himself masquerades as a low tier streamer at times, streaming a little bit of Apex legends so it makes you wonder are those people really doing their jobs are they really trying to rid the game of cheaters for everybody and not just the ones that have the sized audience that where if they kept running into cheaters might actually make respawn and apex legends and hideouts look kind of shitty makes you wonder if they care at all and are even necessary to employ especially if they're just gonna clout chase while they're on the clock so y'all could imagine to my surprise when i saw this tweet about the tiktoker who was you know openly cheating in apex in which connor ford head of security at apex legends replied stating that they had already banned the player last season that he was using recycled content from you know an older time period and trying to pass it off as new when in fact the only thing that was attempting to be passed off as something that it certainly wasn't was when connor ford alleged the streamer is already banned immediately being called out by somebody in the comments someone who replied my guy he's got a nemesis which if you weren't aware the nemesis was just released like a week ago with the new season ban didn't work in that case connor ford knew that he had made an ouchie on twitter said this specific instance was banned yesterday you are correct in that it i'm sorry let me do it in my connor ford voice this specific instance just a newbie was banned yesterday. You are correct. It, it, it wasn't the same account. There are several other accounts with the same name created that were all banned as well. Like, come on, brother. You've got to be kidding me. Is he really naive enough to think that banning a cheater once is all it takes? Like, they're just going to create another account in five minutes on your free-to-play game and be right back to cheating again. It's not like you're banning the active sub they have to whatever cheats that they're using. If that were the case, then hardware ID bans wouldn't be a thing. And speaking of hardware ID bans, wouldn't it be smart to issue them for every ban for cheating? I mean, I know there's always ways around it with hardware ID spoofers and stuff, but every bit of effort is needed to combat the cheating epidemic that is in Apex Legends right now. And if you don't think that cheating is that bad in Apex Legends right now, drop by live stream and ask. And I'll take you to the marketplace 90% of the providers use where they list their active user numbers that, by the way, added up are in the hundreds of thousands of active users. I mean, I can't be more knowledgeable than Connor Ford in this department, right? 
I mean, if so, where the hell do I send my resume? Because it strikes me as particularly odd that all the major providers advertise in the same place. Why haven't hideouts tried purchasing a sub to these softwares and reverse engineer them or, you know, crack them and, and, and be able to find something that correlates to every user that's using this software to inject into the game and thus be able to block them from being able to even use these cheats in the game. You know, stop them from even injecting the cheats. Just make it an instant ban when you detect this. And don't tell me that it'd be too expensive. Out of all the providers, there really is only a handful that make up the vast majority of the market share of cheat providers. You're telling me we can't afford to spend a few hundred dollars keeping the top providers offline? I don't know. If you guys ask me, it seems like it all stems from a lack of willingness to exert any amount of effort needed to properly combat the problems we're facing when it comes to all these cheats in our games. Uh, basically, these devs and employees like those employed by hideouts are lazy. I, I, they need to be replaced, especially if they're going to lie to us like this. And I get it. Maybe it's not a lie. Maybe it's more of a half truth. But for people that think that this is a fair representation of hideouts being open, honest, and transparent with you, you're sadly mistaken. Additionally, you've got to be one of the most naive persons on the face of this earth, if you think that streaming or competitive gaming is the only industry or genre in which cheating is not most prevalently found at the top ranks where the most financial gains are to be made. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Major League Baseball, the National Football League, the NBA, they all have stringent oversight via drug testing and other means. USADA, they can show up at your door at four o'clock in the morning. You got 30 minutes to piss in this cup. Or you don't get to compete. Name a video game that's got that type of oversight. What, easy anti-cheat? Ricochet anti-cheat? Sure, okay. Yeah, and professional athletes don't get popped every day for juicing. I mean, hell, look at guys like LeBron. He's got every telltale sign of somebody that uses steroids, probably in an effort to recover. Not everything's to build massive strength and you know stamina and things of that nature. A lot of times, when your body starts getting older, kind of like Lizard King, TRT comes into play. So you could remain just as productive and capable as you were at your youthful peak. But if everybody knows LeBron's on the juice, why don't we do something? Why don't they ban him from the league? Well, quite honestly, it'd be more of a hit to the image of the NBA than it would be LeBron himself. And once you begin to look at it from a business standpoint, a marketing standpoint like that, maybe you can start drawing parallels between that of professional sports and that of these top advertisers, because that's what streamers and content creators are at the end of the day for these games and how they're held to a different standard with little to zero oversight. And if you guys don't agree or you feel some type of way, let's talk it out in the comments. But if you enjoyed this interaction as much as I did, do me a huge solid favor, smash the like button. And if you're new around here, want to see more content just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bells on so YouTube never lets you miss when I upload a new video or go live right here on YouTube. So remember the words once said by author Stephen King, next time someone like Connor Ford or anybody else tries to feed you a line of BS, only enemies speak the truth. Friends and lovers lie endlessly, caught in a web of duty. Catch you guys on the next one. Mahalo. What is you doing? Finna go hard, hard, hard. Ice on my neck, ice on my wrist. That for the squad, squad, squad. Know they gon' hate. Do what I tell them. Get on your jaw, jaw, jaw. Work on smooth. I got the moves. I swear to God, God, God. Hey, I just dropped 200 on the news.